Welcome back to the show, uh, Mr. Gonzalo Lira Sr. Uh, I presume you can bring us no good news, uh, because if there were good news, we'd probably have heard of it. Uh, but what do you know at this point about Gonzalo's plight? First of all, thank you, George, once again for having me in your show. It's the senior hour. I'm a year older than your previous guest. I was born in 1943. George, okay, as you good. very well said, almost a fortnight ago, I was interviewed by a well-known political commentator and writer. It made a splash because Elon Musk saw that interview and sent a message directly to President Zelensky. Zelensky answered through his police, the SBU. I would like to read some of the major points of this answer from the C from the SBU. They say Lira, who has a dual citizenship of Chile and the United States, was arrested in Kharkiv region for promoting Russian aggression in Ukraine and spreading pro Kremlin ideas on social media. My answer to this accusation is very simple, George. Gonzalo never promoted Russian aggression. He plainly kept saying that Ukraine would never win a war against Russia. As for the spread of Kremlin ideas, it's a very puzzling answer from the SBU. It's a very vague accusation. Then they went further and accused them. The investigation revealed that Lira's video denied Russia's war crimes and justified Russian aggression. Lira claimed that Ukraine was shelling its own territory and the country was ruled by a neo-Nazi regime. My answer. There have been repeated accusations of war crimes from both sides, George. Gonzalo described Russia's aggression due to the ultimatum that Putin gave Zelensky not to join NATO. That was all he was asking for. Putin, like President Kennedy, could not accept another NATO country with missiles pointing at Moscow on its border. Biden and Victoria Nuland, as Gonzalo accused them on March 2022, which is a month after the invasion. The, the real perpetrators of this war in Ukraine's and Ukraine's destruction are Biden and Victoria Nuland. The USA gave the red cape to Zelensky and promised him that the USA and NATO would help him Ukraine defeat Russia. Rubbish. Many information sources accuse the Zelensky regime as pro-Nazi. There was a demonstration in Canada, as you very well know, George, and mm -hmm. I'll leave it at that. Another accusation. He was initially released under house arrest after posting bail, but was arrested again in July when he tried to cross the border into Hungary. He was kept, George, from May the 1st to July the 6th, 67 days, a comunicado. The reason the SBU released Gonzalo at that time under, under bail was because of the pressure of the Chilean government, George. I live in Santiago, Chile, by the way. He jumped bail, George, because he was told that he would be found guilty and would serve eight years in prison. Musk made his demand 
in response to a post by former Fox anchor Tucker Carlson, who accused the Ukrainian authorities of torturing Gonzalo Lira, yes, torturing Gonzalo Lira in an Ukrainian prison since July for the crime of criticizing Serenity. My son, George, was tortured in May and June of this year. He was extorted of $70,000 or he would lose his left eye with a toothpick, George. Scratching his eye with a toothpick. He pointed out all of this in three videos that he sent up in the air before crossing the border to Hungary. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. He had a broken rib and severely wounded in his chest because of the blows. And he pointed out, the guards didn't torture me. They outsource torture. The fellow mates tortured my son. The U.S. Embassy, George, has not done a thing. During those 67 days before he was released on July the 6th by paying a, a, a bond, you know, under a bail, they never visited my Gonzalo. Nobody knew how he was, where he goes, he, 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 he was. And again, let me repeat, the U.S. Embassy did nothing. <clears throat> but in every single U.S. Embassy around the world, there's a big statement. If an American citizen <clears throat> is detained, the embassy comes into his help immediately, George, providing an attorney, yeah. providing even extra food if he's in need of, George. My son never received any support from the U.S. Embassy. What they did after he was once again detained, which was on August the 1st, because he couldn't uh, cross the border to Hungary, they provided video conference with Gonzalo. Video conference is public nuisance. The detainee will not be able to tell you what is going on. Nobody went physically to see him. That is the way the U.S. One, embassy. One, one word, uh, yeah. One word from them, Mr. Lira, would see Gonzalo released. One word. Uh, Ukraine is yes. completely a client state of the United States. We've now got no less than the world's most celebrated journalist, Tucker Carlson, on the case. We've got the titan. Of, uh, of new technology, Elon Musk on the case. What is stopping the US from saying, for God's sake, uh, just kick this guy out of Ukraine and stop this suppurating sore uh, from, uh, from giving us this kind of pain? I don't understand that, sir. Well, <clears throat> let me give you a preview. I was communicating with Gonzalo's attorney, Victor Tsersakovsky. He doesn't speak English, George. So we translate each other, okay, through WhatsApp. Victor told me that Gonzalo has a court date next Friday, 22nd. They are translating what happened last December 12th, which was his prior court appointment. He's been seven months in prison without any trial. And it's not so much for freedom of speech, George. That's what Victor was telling me. It's because they put this new law, the Article 432, which Gonzalo was totally unaware of. Article 432, George, if you say 
openly in the air that you don't like Zelensky, you're dead. I mean, to that extent is Article 4, uh, 32. Gonzalo obviously was unaware. I pointed out to Victor, Gonzalo is not an Ukrainian nation, national. Gonzalo is a foreign citizen. How could he be aware of laws that have been passed recently? Deport him for crying out loud. What are we waiting for? Exactly. But let me tell you. Exactly. That's you the know, obvious solution. Well, you, 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 you did it exactly what it is. This is the USA war. Listen, Gonzalo was born in the States while I was doing economics work in the USA. I went to college at 19 years old when I finished my high school in Santiago, Georgia. I lived in England before, by the way, between I was 10 to 13 years old, and I had the pleasure of living in your beautiful England, a country where law still prevails. I live there, Don't know about and it. I have always been a British fan, and I worked for Rio Tinto for a whole bunch of years, George, by the way. Anyway, getting back to the, this is Biden's war. This is a USA war. The USA, as President Eisenhower pointed out in his last speech, George, and pretty sure you know, he was afraid that the USA would convert into a nation exporting armaments in the world. Well, that's exactly what they are, an exporter of armaments in the world. They lost against China. Any other good is made by China. The USA is exporting armaments. So what is its marketing strategy? Make wars in the world. They are the ones that caused the war against Russia. They told Zelensky, they're puppet. Here, take the red rope, just like the bullfighter, you know, and go after Putin. Well, that's what exactly he did because Biden promised We'll help you with the NATO countries, and we're going to beat the Russians. What I said before, which is rubbish. You will never win a war against Russia in Europe. How can you put, put uh, foot soldiers? The American army is not the one that was in 1991, like Colonel McGregor says. You know Colonel McGregor very well. They no, could no, never no, they're, win they're a wearing war. Dresses. They're wearing dresses now. Uh, Mr. Lira, uh, time is short. I, uh, I, I ask you uh, if you are able to uh, tell us to whom our audience should write. Uh, how can we help is what I'm saying. What can we do yeah. to free Gonzalo Lira from prison? Well, George, I think the, 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 the logical, uh, you know, road to get Gonzalo free is to go to Zelensky and Biden. It's the only way, George. Let's face it. You said it before, and everybody is saying, Biden, the State Department, just a phone call to Zelensky and Gonzalo is free in 10 minutes. They are the ones yeah. that still have this man who has, let me try, if I may, George, this is Gonzalo, my son, with his son, my grandson, Ramon. He lives in Ukraine. He lives in a safe country, uh, uh, city in Ukraine, George. How can you have a man, a father, accused of such a nonsense for crying out loud? I mean, this is pure nonsense. They just didn't like Gonzalo's speech. Gonzalo, on March, a uh, month after the Russians invaded Ukraine, said, this is a futile war and it's going to end with the destruction of Ukraine. I mean, he said it. Well, it has publicly. the benefit of well, having 
yeah, it has the it has the benefit of having been proved correct. I have to uh, take your leave now. Uh, I'm going to take your advice and ask everyone to contact the American government and the Ukrainian government. So their embassies in your country, wherever you're watching this, write to the Ukrainian ambassador and write to the American ambassador, unless you're in America, in which case write to the White House. Raise the demand. Directly. Fight for the freedom, for the life of Gonzalo Lira. I bid you good night, sir, and thank you for appearing on the show again. Very, very kind of you uh, to do so.